If you could be a foundation, would you? That's that's it? Yeah. That's the starting line? Yeah. If you could be a foundation, would you? Yeah. I was going to do a whole thing where I was like a king. Uh. Where I was like a king and I was like, Lo, welcome to well, you the can still do it. secret kingdom of Sleepovericus. You could do Sleep it. Sleepovericus. I mean... No one's stopping We're you. We're the king and queen. And if you could be a foundation, would you? Would you? Would you do it? Hi, everyone. How's everybody doing? We got some subs already. I see one from the nitpick. Can't see the third. Natalie Streams. Hibernation Dream. Inspector Sassy Pants. Hibernation Dream. Hibernation Dream. Oh, Fizzle. Oh, Fizzle. Thank you all so much. Yeah, I was getting major, like, brave vibes from the music, so. It is very, like, dramatic. Would you? Like, we're about to go on an adventure, but we're not. We're going to build a, a medieval town. Have you been, have you, is this have you show? watched Brave? Me? Yeah. No. Do they build a medieval town in that one? If you could watch Brave, would you? At this point, I don't know. <laughs> I always kind of heard it was one of like the fine ones. Like it wasn't one of the great ones. It was just fine. Yeah, I liked it just fine, but it wasn't like the the best. Oh, some, some people some love people it. Some people love it apparently. Yeah, it's. I mean, it has its moments. It just didn't. It just didn't hit me. Kate that, Ducks, that Katie Ducks, and Star Sailor thinks it's great. Well, okay. And they think you were wrong. That's fair. All I know is, would you? Would you? That's all I know. I wonder if they regret putting that in the trailer. It, <laughs> it, um, it was nice because it was more just about like family ties, and it was one of the few Disney movies to not be like B boys. It was like the first Disney-ish movie that was like not about not about the boys. They become bears in that one, don't they? Uh, her <clears throat> siblings and her mother become bears. But she does not become a bear. She does not become bears. She wishes that her mom uh, were different or went Excuse away me. or something. And so they so, become bears. And so she gets cursed into being a bear. That'll and then, happen. And then she has to help her mom un unbearify. I did get my hair cut, but it was... Uh, there's been a few streams since I got it cut. When yeah. did I get it cut? Friday? Yeah. Yeah. I got it cut last Friday. But thank you for noticing. It feels much better on my head. I was able to go for the first time since quarantine to get an actual haircut. And not a me haircut, from yeah. From the barbershop. Everyone was masked up appropriately. Ooh, you. But yep. we're now allowed to go into places like that and get, get the hairs cut. Also, our neighborhood has Ooh, a wildly low percentage of COVID. Yeah, we have like 0 0.01 something percent. It's really good. Yeah, and we have one of the highest mask wearing rates in the city that's also really good yeah flushing has the most but we have like the second most i think so yay so things are good so uh proof wear your masks just rose potato i know i have a big forehead you don't have to tell me somebody tells me every stream that i have a big forehead and i'm aware it's a part of me it's got to be big to contain all of the brains i have mm -hmm. in there yeah it's got to contain my swollen brain someone asked about my shirt it's my kermit kermit the frog here it's my kermit shirt that i got from uh japan kermit the shirt here went all the way to japan got a kermit shirt yep people were asking about my leg tattoo i've had this since last march my oh your leg tattoo yeah my i imagine it's not often shown on stream yeah because why would it be it's but it's, it's very cool you can't really tell no from the the thing but it's a cool joan of arc it's a it's a big old joan cool joan of arc tattoo tattoo my second joan tattoo double jones double jones um we want oh, to talk about the game doing? yeah was was Let me put this there that's what where is, that should go um, I don't even really know. It's a... <laughs> I know it's a medieval, like, um, civilization building game. Uh-huh. And I know that sort of the crux of what makes it unique is that it's not based on, like, a grid system at all. Mm-hmm. 
And so you can kind of like free form build things and it will like make it all work. Yeah. The game's algorithm knows how to make it all work. It's still in early access, so we might hit some hiccups. But it was on sale and I was looking through Steam for what to play and this looked like the kind of thing I was I was in the mood for. Also, this has been on my wish list for since it got green lighted like a year or so ago. I'm very excited to see it in action and see if I want to buy it. Yeah, because I, I literally have no idea about this game. I just saw it and was like, I that's what I want to play, and I got it. I was looking for a substitute for this game that I absolutely loved growing Ooh. up called Stronghold. But I wanted it without the another civilization is attacking me. Yeah, I agree. Who's that? Is We've Joy. got, oh, it's Joy. We got so many subs just now. Well, now we have to do an early cat cam. An early cat cam. Because Joy decided to show up so Ooh. soon. There she is. Making her way downtown, walking Hi. fast. Yeah. She's been very lappy like, recently. Well, it's like cool out today for the first time. Because we got hit with that major tea storm tomorrow. So it's like really nice out. We have the windows open. There's a nice breeze. And Joy is like, I'm getting in a lap all day. All day. I will be in a lap. You're recording in a lap. Yeah, you're, you're not recording shit. I'm getting in a lap. I'm getting in. Hello. Spoilers for recording we did today, but we got to record an episode with uh, Ross, Ross O'Donovan today, and he was a joy and a delight to have, and we had such a nice time talking to him. He's That's just, just me sharing a nice thing that happened he's today. He's just like genuinely a very nice dude. Yeah. A very and, uh, nice and enthusiastic dude. We just had a lot of fun. So we're going to have a fun episode with him coming out in the in the future. Yeah. The rubber man himself. The rubber ninja. Uh, we have some map options here. Yeah. Hills, coastal, mountain, valley, and fluvial. Which What's is a, fluvial? A, a gross word. Fluvial sounds like it would be like inside the human body somewhere. Yeah, fluvial is how I feel when I'm sick with like a really bad cold. Feeling a little fluvial. Um, oh, we were going to read subs too, huh? Yeah. Let's do that real quick Whose before we move on. GF, GF Whitaker? Is it, is it their birthday? Yes. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, GF Whitaker. It's, apparently it's river fluvial. Why not just say river? It sounds like you magic school bus down and went into Arnold's bloodstream <laughs> and you're making a medieval kingdom there. Yeah. Uh, we got subs from O Fizzle mm -hmm. and AJ from Canada and Inevitable Ruffian and D Tendencies, So Surly, Sir Oz the Quail, Queer Pixel gifted a sub, Panini Press Peach, CPC Slug, every time. S yeah. How We Do It Since 1998, AMV Designs, Elf and Sabu, some slumber time deluxe nice and zephyr slumber cheered 69 time bits which sadness. is uh that's pretty nice slumber time sladness slumber's time sladness gender fluid barbarian says that they're scared of the hurricane because even though they're in texas uh they're in one zone they're in the one zone the one zone yeah my friends live in austin whoa and they're not looking forward to it wow this is a lot to read okay here we go Introduction. How do I... How do I get started? How do I live without you? <laughs> Welcome, my lord. In order to get started building your settlement, you must choose your first territory. Each available starting territory has all the basic resources for you to begin settling the new land. You will later be able to expand further by purchasing new territories, some of which contain prospectable mineral deposits, which you'll be able to mine for iron and other discoverable resources. Oh, my God. Once you have chosen your starting territory, it's time to place your village center. This will act as a storage point for your initial resources until you have more suitable storage options available. Once placed, the village center cannot be moved, so make sure you're happy with your placement. Okay, reading still very stronghold. After placing your village center, you'll be able to begin assigning your villagers job roles. More villagers will arrive once you've begun setting up your village and fulfilling villagers' needs. Quests will help guide you through the first stages of creating a settlement, and you can check your currently available quests in the quest log. Good luck, traveler. Traveler. I have to tell the chat something that they may or may not know about me. Whoa. A fact. Oh, it's a like fact. Carcassonne. Um, I am 
obsessed gamer. with gaming the medieval time period it is like a period of history that i will actively study about because i love it where do i want to start what is this like a fancy cave that looks like a magic cave does this game have magic cave julia does this game have magic cave i don't you tell me that doesn't look like a magic cave. It does look like it looks like a golem, really. Who is it does not look like yet a golem. awake. I kind of like this little spot. We got some hill. We got some mountain. It seems kind of nice, right? What about this one? It's like flat and hill, and lots of trees with which to build. We're gonna start here. Okay. Buy this land. You have a new request. Build a village center. Someone pooped on your border. What? Oh, who pooped on my border? What is, what that? is this? Oh, berries. Always oh, berry bushes. It's berry bushes. We just have a few berry bushes, isn't it? Who are you? All right, let's see what our options are here. Villager list, no villagers, okay? Someone... Workplace list, no workplace. All right. Desirability layers. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, I think you have many desirability layers, <laughs> Thank if you. I'm honest. <laughs> we want to have a lot of desirability layers. I mean, a well-rounded person should. Yeah, you don't want to have just one, because then if they peel that one back, just a skeleton. Someone said, um, how do we know that Julia isn't Joan of Arc reincarnated? Um, I haven't, like, a told enough powerful men to go fuck off to their face to be Joan. I'm terrified of being in trouble. You've told a lot, um, like, behind their back. Yeah. I vented a lot about shitty men. I'm playing oh, with the thing. That was sorry. you. Well, it wasn't me. It was the. Build public buildings, village center. We're doing it. Village center is three crates. We're gonna put the village center, I think, right here in this copse of trees. This is. This seems like this was the, the foretold location of yeah. the village center. Absolutely. Boom. Upfront cost none. Toggle building part snap. Yeah. Who are you? Let's do it. Start construction. Oh! oh! Oh, look at your little friends. They did it. They popped okay, out of the boxes. Okay, I can boxes. pause. Good. I want to see what my villagers, what kind of villagers we got. That's human trafficking. Uh, We got Richard, William, Marjorie, Friedrich, Yvette, Gwyneth, Victoria, and Kunigund. Ooh. Kunigund. Kunigund. Do you see this cat? Which one is Kunigund? 24-year-old female. H happiness, angry, sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of people's early 2020 mood, I feel like. Kunigund is pissed. Um, Damn. Jacob, Jacob, please look at this kitty's face. Oh, she's so sleeping. She's so snuggled in. Yeah, can we rename them? Or Wh Why they? would I? I don't know. Follow villager. Yeah, follow her. <laughs> Poor lady's been in town for all of uh, four seconds, and we're already following her. Builder's Workshop is now available. No, no, no one's going anywhere. They're like, I don't know what to do. I just came out of a box. Oh, no. She going. Okay. Okay. I feel like you're going to have to build something like a, a lumberjack. I mean, yeah. I need to build a Builder's Workshop. Maccabee. Thank you for the sub. Also, Jazz in space. they ask who, who builds the buildings. You know? Yeah. Yeah, there are buildings, but who builds the buildings? That's what the builder's workshop is for. Wow. Build public buildings. A monument. <laughs> First, I will build a monument to me. To moi. A, a lord manor. Oh, I require 10 newcomer. We don't have 10 newcomer yet. Well, technically, all of your people are newcomers. Builder's workshop. We're going to... Oh, it moves the trees automatically. That's so. That's so kind. Um, I think we're just gonna put it. Person sort who of just here. messaged me about that show about building castles. If you have a Twitter, please tweet Whoops. at me the name of that show, because I want to watch it. Thank you. What's the um... star construction? I mean, like, how do I rotate it? Oh, is it like R, or is it one of the brackets? It's usually oh. R or one of the brackets in this in these games. One of the brackets. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, wait. In the bottom. Control plus horizontal mouse movement. 
Oh, hold control. Okay, okay. Uh, left click, select a, and plays a building part. Interesting. Left click and drag on green vertical arrows. Grow and shrink. What, dude? I don't think I can do it with this, but it seems like I can adjust like parts of buildings manually later. That's dope. Shift left click, place building part and keep selection. Okay, cool. Cool beans, make this. Let's get on it, please. Um, do you have to hire someone to work there? I think I need to tell them that they have jobs now. Can you like click the building and assign from there? Richard. Richard, oh. He's level one in everything. Richard, everyone I think is level one at, at everything. Okay. Um, oh, there's so many jobs. Right now we need builders though. We need builders and we need wood. You need wood yeah, cutters. Yeah, we need wood cutters. We're gonna do three builders. Brighter than stardust. Let's get three wood cutters and two foragers. Thank you for the sub. Four foragers. Oh, they put on a little hat when they're a forager. That's their job hat. Oh, they got she got Barry already. Damn. Damn. You're a good forager, dude. <laughs> Kunigund. <laughs> the dude's face on the right is cracking me up. Kunigund is such a good forager. Good job, Kunigund. She's already got berries. Damn. Damn. Good job, Kunigund. 24 years old female. She looks so old in that picture. Look at this photo. Man. So it's a million years old. Listen, they didn't have the arts like a hundo, you know? Okay. Oh, yes. All right. The only people who could afford a portrait were rich people or church people who are usually rich people. New zone extraction is available. Okay. Sometimes Lumber I require camp. zone extraction. I don't know what that means. I just need extracting from a zone, like a mental zone. You just don't want to be there anymore. Yeah. So can I like, can I like zone? I'm assuming you can. You can pause time. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. States, military manager, States. territory, budget, trade. Put all your budget in military. I've learned that that does fantastically. Paint development zones. Oh, here we go. We need to make extraction zones. Allow wood cutting, stone cutting, and berry gathering. Well, you're gonna wanna get those border berries. Oh, part of the berries aren't in my territory. I can't get half the berries. My God, if she puts one toe over that line. Let's, um, oh, this is kind of a clever system. Yeah, it's you like You can painting. just sort of paint in. Let's extract all of these trees. A donut of trees. Oh, never mind. Area. A beignet so, of trees. So we can make sort of a clearing. That's what we're going to want right there. Forbidden land. Nobody will walk on Lord's on land. On Lord's land. Nobody. Teacups three. Thank you for your sub. Okay. Dope. Now, next. Jacob, I feel like I have to tell you. What? Bee Lord. Lord of bees. Has shared 20 bits. The Lord of Bees sets the Lord foot of bees on my land. Is here. I have not granted the Lord of Bees permission to enter you my. You are forbidden land, Lord of Bees. My quadrangle of, of territory. Be gone, Lord of Bees. Don't be gone. We, uh, we enjoy having you. Leave the bees, anything. though. Do leave the bees. Okay, I gotta make. I got a quest. Place a lumber camp. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Joy, you're so snuggly. Lumber camp. Found escape. Thank you for your sub. Oh, that's how far they can go out from there. Can you see that red oh, circle? Oh, I see. So we want to put this like in the midst of the trees. I guess so. I didn't so know if you wanted can... to put it in the midst of the trees or in the, the blue circle the... that you made. Oh, well, I'll change the blue circle to accommodate. Ah. Okay the lumber camp that exists in the midst of trees. Start construction, please. I beg of you. Are you, are you constructing? What are you doing? Are you constructing? I'm on free time looking to fill my needs. 
Oh. I get that, dude. Yeah, man. Um, you. Oh, you're working. Kind of. Oh, someone's constructing. What are you doing? Are you cutting? I'm. I am working. I am gathering wood. I'm Richard, and I'm angry. Angry Richard. <laughs> Wait. Did, go back to that guy. Did you see what's going on with him? It's hard to go back. Oh, dang. No, he's cool now. Well, his second message was flipping out. Did see? This guy's working, it, it, but it, also it, it, he uh, is he is going to work at the same time. Fire him. Oh, he's back. He's fine. He's looking to fill his needs. We're Listen, not changing anyone's name. William's got to get what's his. All right? William needs what William needs. Oh, we're building. Okay. It's working. Everything is going according to plan. Tox, box, devil. I'm assuming Thank I can you. time up. I thought it'd be the number keys, but it's not. Quest completed. Assign a new woodcutter. I think wood I got... Woodcutter? I already got woodcutters, dude. Don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, let's, let's paint a new extraction zone. Because we want it to be all of this around here. You will ex you will extract. Produce produce berries? Produce them? Listen, it's a little hard to do that sometimes. Oh, look, they made their own little road oh, to go over to it. It's like a warning path, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Caffeinated Cat says, uh, how do you feel about not using the grid system so far? Grid systems usually normally drive me up a wall, so it's really cool to not see it here. It is nice. It's kind of... It's cool, yeah. I'm excited to see like how it goes as things get more complicated. It also feels more true to how medieval cities kind of went. Um, you're looking to fill your needs. I don't have like a ton for you to forage right now. Can you just like forage anywhere? Joy, why do you smell so bad? She's just a stinky little dinky. She is a stinky dinky. Nobody will walk on the Lord's land. That's what I want everyone to take away from this. I don't want anyone here to, to walk on the Lord's land. Okay, Friedrich, Gwyneth, and Yvette. Three out of three woodcutters assigned. We're good. We're golden. Three out of three woodcutters. Agree. Agree. Okay, so these are all, these are all completed. Takodilla, thank you for your sub. I need to produce berries. Produce I, berries. I simply must produce berries, and I must find a way to do so. A gathering hut. Oh, a gathering hut produces berries. Yep. Man, this is like all of the the best parts of medieval city sims that I play. I'm having a great time. Where should the gathering hut be? Maybe like over here. Yeah, because that dude's going to start cutting down his trees. Yeah, we'll put this here. Oh, no, I need to um, rotate it like this. Start construction. Begin immediately. Increase speed. Yep. Oh. Auto save in progress. Auto save in progress. Auto save in progress. Auto save in progress. Oh, look at him go. Who are you? Richard. Richard. I am working. Job. I am building. Yes, yes you, you are. are. You go for it, Richard. You're doing it, Richard. Joy is as sideways as she can be in my lap. Joy is very asleep. That's a cool, um, you know, when you go hiking and you see those, that's her stretching and like doing some workouts. Yeah, it's just a nice just little, leave it like that. little oh, workout mind. spot. If I played Banished, I have. I don't think I ever actually played Banished. It was always on my list. I never got around to it. I own it if you would like to play it at any point. You are the Banisher. Yes. Oh, now look at us. Now we got people gathering. And they will produce berries. Assign available villager. Who? I hate the phrase produce berries. No, no one is available. Everyone is hard at work. Except these builders. But I am going to have them... Oh, quest completed. Produce berries. Oh, I got my stuff up here. Wood, tools, stock your resources. Build a granary. Okay. Okay. 
There's nothing we can't do. We're going to build a granary. Oh, it's... Oh, cool. You see how it, like... Yeah. It, like, goes changes with the to go with the terrain? Well, if we're assigning... Oh, when you do that too fast, it moves like a spider. The granary's coming! <laughs> if we're going to assign berries to the granary, I feel like it should be near. Yeah. Right? Maybe we'll put it, like, in between. Yeah, I like that. Put it like over here. So, so around that central gathering point. Yeah, we'll give it like one of these. Begin construction, boys. Construction team. Do your duties. Marjorie, Richard, William, please. Begin construction of the granary. We must have a place to put our berries. And remember... No one walks on the Lord's land. No one walks on the Lord's land. I was just trying to think of a gender neutral name. Because I went on a thought tangent, as I do. You went on a thought tangent? Yeah. Blue like the clues, subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Half was, a year. I was thinking about how in medieval times that they probably named their bathrooms lords and ladies, right? When you go into the ladies' bathroom, it's the ladies and lords for the dudes. What about like a gender neutral is it like lordies? Yeah, lordies. I love lordies. Lordy, lordy. Jacob's 40. I'm not 40. I would love someone in medieval times to be like, no, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. I I identify as a lordy. I'm a lordy. Draz said laird is a gender, gender neutral term. Laird. Gendral. Did they have gendered bathrooms back then? No. I don't know. Yeah, probably it was just like holes. Well, they had poop shoots. Poop shoots? Poop shoots in castles. Poop shoot and boogie. If a castle was really quality, it had a poop shoot. Or it had someone who cleared out the bucket. Did they have gendered poop shoots? <laughs> oh, I don't have any stone. We must make our castle uh, accessible to all of our peoples. Quick, get me a, a bathroom for the lords. <laughs> the lords? The lords? The missing resources. Oh my. The lades? Oh my god. The, the lairds. The lairds. That's what it was. I like how you forgot immediately. My the brain word. doesn't work today. I haven't slept well in a week and a half. If it were me, I would simply sleep well. That's not true. <laughs> I very rarely sleep well. Um, okay, we need... We need... We have needs. We do have needs. We need... <laughs> a stone cutter camp. To produce stone. Not over here. No. We're going to put it over here on the mountainside. Yeah, is that stone? Invalid position. Oh, there we go. Invalid? Valid. You can put it right here. Ooh, look at this fan. Wee, wee, wee. It's really cool how freeform it is. Yeah, it's very neat. We're going to put it put it right up here. Start construction. Because then if we get stone, we can make the granary, and then we can assign the new transporter. What does wow. a transporter even do? I just learned something. Ser is a real medieval gender neutral honorific. That's dope as hell. I did not know that. Thank you. I didn't know shit about anything. Where's Kunigand? Our most useful villager. Gotta catch up with Kunigand. She's harvesting some berries. What you up to? Oh, you're on your free time looking to fill those needs. I got you. Do your thing. View home. You don't have a home. No one has a home here in this town. <laughs> Everyone here is homeless. That is true. They live am amongst the trees. We we live amongst the trees. The pink bean is out. I want to see about transports resources to warehouses. Okay, cool. That's what a transporter does. Commoner and citizen. 
I'm learning. Warnings. Yay. Oh, all is good. Severity high. All is good. It makes me think of that um, Leslie Nielsen joke. Who are you? <laughs> uh huh. When he's doing this, he's like, everything is fine, and the building behind him is exploding. There we go. My brain is really turning into mush. Who are you? Today, and I apologize. That's okay. It's not. It's not a big problem. Guys, this morning I'm the kind of like brain soupy where I tried to put hand soap on my toothbrush this morning. Don't any of them look similar? The hand soap is clear. Marjorie and Gwyneth are now stone cutters. <laughs> Joy, uh, Joy looks like she got hit by a car again. <laughs> I feel like I have to show everyone. Sometimes Joy lays down in such a way that makes it look like she's been hit by a vehicle. She's, she's been shot. Look at her. Oh, oh, no, she she's does. down. It looks like you would draw a chalk line around her and be like, this is where she fell. Never to rise again. Back to my world. I gotta make sure these stone cutters is stone cutting. Okay, this allows stone cutting. Got it. Um, yeah, stone cut anywhere from over here. Feel free to stone cut. Did you ever see that Simpsons episode where they, they stone, he joins the stone cutters? Mickey Mouse, we found the hidden Mickey. Whoa, what are you talking about? The hidden Mickey in the center there with your blue. Oh. You really just like whiplashed me with <laughs> what you were talking about. Yeah. Um, I've not seen any Simpsons episodes. Please uh -oh. never ask me if I've seen a Simpsons well, episode. Well, they do a whole song and dance about joining the stone cutters and they just, yeah. Yeah, chat's getting it. They're all chanting, we do. We do. Um, whoa, the little chef just ran out of the woods. Little chef. He looks like a little chef. Oh. oh, this is some stones here, huh? Gwen. I can't even see if there's like other stone patches around. I thought they were going to mine the stone from this like rock face, but it appears they're mining it from this patch of stone. It, it appears to be that way. Can I move this you can destroy it it's in the wrong place that's okay <laughs> i've i built it up here and they have to walk all the way down the hill to get to the stone i've been a fool is the granary done yet oh it needs one more stone richard richard fetch one more stone from the town center Richard. Where do you all find loaf cats? My cat is 100% demon. Uh, broken cat cafe. Barklin. She got, cart, our cat cart loaf cafe. got baked in the, in the cafe. And she's wonderful. Come on, baby, bring the stone. Bring the stone. William is bringing one stone. Yes, William. Yes, William. William, yes, where are you? Look at his fancy hat. Oh, here he comes. 19 years old. He did it! Finished an entire granary. The absolute madman at 19 built a granary. Built a what granary. What have you done? What have you done lately? I cried a lot at 19. No, I'm kidding. It was a fine year. Assign berries to the granary. And now we need a transporter. We need Jason Statham. <laughs> Who wants to be a transporter? Probably... A woodcutter? We have a lot of wood. Actually, maybe a builder. William, you did such a good job building that granary that I don't want you to build anymore. I want you to transport now. You take things from over here and you put them over there. That's what you do now. Build a well, build a market, assign a new market tender to, do, to go on dates. It gives you little hugs as you go by. Now I'm a real day with you. Gives a little tender. Gives you a little hug. 
Tender oh, yeah. Market Man. 19 okay. was a bad year. Where was I at 19? What year? What year was I 19? 19, there's still time for you. I was in college. If I was in college, it was probably fine. My bad years were like when I was 16 and 2017. Those were my bad years. I've had nothing but good years, baby. Like the tires. I was about to say, you just rolled on like those tires. I just roll on, just roll over every year. Every year's the same. None, none of them are good, none of them are bad. You just plucked that tree out of the ground like it was broccoli. Richard is powerful. That's how you do with broccoli, right? You see this level going up on Richard? Richard's cranking up that EXP. I am working. I am building. I am Richard. Looking to fill my needs. I must fill my needs. Oh, we need more stone in this. What the miners, I feel like, well, they're taking a long time because they have to walk a hundred miles to get to their resource <laughs> from on top of a mountain. It's a workout. The strongest work at the stone cutter camp. God, it won't refund me very much if I destroy yep. it. How much did it cost to make the stone cutter camp? Okay. 25 golds. 10 wood, 5 tools. I'm trying to decide if it's worth rebuilding. I think it is. Destroy it. No more stone cutters. Until there are more stone cutters. Stone cutter camp. We're going to put this one. Yeah. Right here. That's where you want a stone cutter camp to be. That's the proper placement. Richard, uproot those trees. Use your powerful arms. Pick them up. <laughs> Pluck them like grass. He eats. Look like he's eating them. Yeah. Richard eats the trees. It really sounds like he's chomping them. Have you been saying any of these subs? No. Queer Pixel gave out a tier one sub. Thank you so much. Double Joe, seven subscribed. Rerum, subscribed. Uh, regular Wonderland gave out a tier one sub. A crane art subscribe blue like the clues subscribe thank you apparently the berry gatherers are also walking a good distance considering the berries are over here yeah that's okay they can do that we have a good number of berries see i i didn't understand how things worked at first and now i'm beginning to learn i need a builder only not for a builder Richard, my dude, can you can you get on that? We need the stone so we can make the well. Do you understand? I don't mean to like come down on you and be harsh. But come on. Also, someone asked what's in my mug. I'm having sleepy time tea. Sleepy time tea. It's good tea, y'all. Oh, Richard needs more tools. Why are you doing breaking all the tools every time you construct? Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Richard? Also, to all the people who are saying that they're in their rough year uh, at 19, I have to say, I think my life really actually sorted itself out at, like, age 30. So, it's fine. You'll get there. I'm like in the best spot I've ever been, even though it's 2020. Yeah, this year is horrible. The year is horrible, but like my personal life, pretty good. I feel like if 2020 had happened in an earlier point in my life, I don't know how I would have handled it. Sometimes you just gotta power through. Sometimes you just gotta sit and wait it out. That's kind of what powering through is. Yeah. <laughs> It's powering through is kind of the wrong term because it really is more like weathering a storm. It really is weathering a storm. You gotta batten down the hatches and just wait it out. I need a builder. I'm pulling up a builder at the end of the I need to make a market. A market generates revenue by selling goods to the villagers. Who's selling them? Me? There's nobody here. Uh, 
you're placing a stick. Yeah, is the market just this stick? Gather around the pole, the market pole. Oh, you can decorate oh, it's it. Like a, you can build it's it. It's like a thing. No, a monument look. I want to make that go away. Let's try again. Interesting. Market. I want it to go here. Uh, we just want probably a, a food stall, right? Food stall. Oh. What does the orb, what does the orb mean? <laughs> what does the orb mean? I don't know. Is it like where the, the cellar stands? What does orb? What does the orb mean? I'm going to assume that that's like, you need that room available for someone to slip in. And I think start that's selling probably stuff. the market tender's location. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's a little stool right there. All right. We're going to, yeah, let's put a food stall. Okay. Put a little, I don't know. Give it a little What awning. is this? Red tent, blue tent, green, green tent, tent, food stall sign. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's get in. Let, hold, let's just pause everything. Let's not pause everything. People are doing important tasks. I like that, that, like, Jimmy, who's, like, 12, is, like, out making a mine, and we're, like, hold on, trying to figure out yeah, what Yeah, food stall awning. sign. Let's get the red, the red tent. Oh, yes. <gasps> Clicks in. Are you kidding me right now? Um... I don't have any planks. Someone go plank. I don't think we have the tools for planks mm. right now, so that might be all we can do. All right. That's fine, we can always add later. We can always add later. We can always add later. Oh wait, I need cloth? I don't have cloth. I don't think there's okay. any need for that. We're gonna get rid of the red tent because I don't have cloth. This just costs 10 wood now. That's what we can afford. All right. So that's what we're going to do. So I like how the villagers are going to produce berries over here. And then the market tender is going to get them out of the granary, bring them over here, and sell them back to the villagers yeah. who picked them. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pay for these things that you found on your own. They'd probably just be like, I should have just ate them at I the should've time. I pocketed some. That's stealing. From Had I known, I would have just ate them at the time. Oh, man. I'm realizing now that everything is in the wrong place. That's okay. That's the, what this This first... should have been over here, and the granary should have been over here, too. That's what this first quadrangle is for. This is going to be um, titled Dipshit Land. Baby's first realm. What? You have to bear with me today. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I got, what are you I'm talking worried. about? My brain is... I'm, I'm trucking, man. I'm on cruise... I'm trucking, man. Control. I just like that you interrupted the joke I was in the middle of making to say baby's first realm. You know when <laughs> you're driving down the hall <laughs> highway all night long <laughs> and it's just you got no cars around you and it's all straight forever and you just you put on cruise control and you put up your little feeties. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Um, yeah. Yeah, Julia. My brain feels like an iron box while simultaneously being like soup. I got a market tender. Where'd she go? Uh, increase your population by maximizing immigration possibility. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at her go. Oh, she's waving. Hello. I just want this shot of them harvesting the berries right there <laughs> and her selling the berries right here. Yeah. <laughs> As they walk back and forth carrying the berries. And she's like, come buy the berries. <laughs> come buy the thing you made. 
<laughs> okay, I need to raise the happiness of the village to 100 happiness. All right. Estates. Get them a pub. Oh, my God. What? Bailiff office? Wow. Monastery? There is stuff. This game has stuff. I'm glad, though, that it's, like, given to me piecemeal, you know? Yeah. It's not, it's not, well, not taking really. me. not really. They really just threw everything at you. Well, they've been giving me a quest for everything. Oh, that's true. I, apparently, I did it. From the two people who were passing by, two decided to join your village. Hell yeah. 100% conversion rate. Got him. Join us. All right. What are they? Who do we got? Let's who we see. Got? Who's new? Victoria. No. Boring. These are the ones that were already here. Sort by arrival. Sort by, yeah, arrival. Maybe they're not like fully in here yet. Where are they? Who are you? Show yourself, coward. I need to interview you. Do not touch the Lord's land. Who are you? Tiny dragon dog. Where are they? Thank you for all the stuff. These are the ones I already had. Yeah, this sucks. Well, hold on. Someone only had a level one thing. Yeah, because no I had just moved them to that job. Oh. Yvette became the market tender. Where are these immigrants? I must meet them. I must meet and greet them. Are they, like, out? Welcome them with open arms. Are they out here in the wilderness? In the wilderness? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, the world is flat, kind of. Oh! oh! <laughs> I wanted to go underneath. I heard like a magic noise when, at some point there. Under the trees. <laughs> Under the. Ah! Darling, it's better down where it's hollow. Under the trees. One new villager arrived in your village. Click him. Whomst. Oh. It's you. Who are you? Harry, Harry. You're 20 and you have gray hair and a full beard? The medieval times. It was rough, a man. A message from the kingdom. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. I am but your humble servant. I'm but your humble servant. Bloop. New zone it? residential is available. You interrupt my day with that? The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. I love unlockables. Three villagers lack space for housing. Yeah. Homelessness. No, nobody has. Nobody has. Um. Okay, Harry, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, everything is coming at me right now really hard. And I need a second to consider my life and my choices. Sarah Dams. Uh, it's hard is what I'll say. Um, Do you want to say what the question is? Any tips on how to get my art more it's noticed? It's also Sarah Adams. It's not Sarah Dams. I post it on social media, but it never really goes anywhere. Uh, it's hard to get recognized on social media, I will say. So don't feel too bad uh, about it. I feel like post regularly um, a good... I think method of getting recognized is posting things that are in the in the the social or media zeitgeist. So like if something is trending or if there's a really popular book that just came out or a movie, do some fan art of that. Like mix in, sprinkle in some fan art with your art. That's a good way to do it. Um or, you know, do mock book covers of books that are really popular or mock movie posters. You know, it's and hit those hashtags, I feel like, is yeah. the way that I did it for a long time. The way that I've often thought about it is there's a few ways to get your art noticed. One of them is to be genuinely incredible, like at yeah. art. And but even unless then, you're like point toss. really, really good, like uncommonly way above the pack good where it's like undeniable. Yeah. That's not going to work like for most people. Like if I were trying to get my art noticed just on the pure strength of the art, there's not a chance in the world. Yeah, m me neither. But the second way is to try and use your art to make the things that people are looking to engage, engage with. Yeah. 
Like I chose comics when I started out. And so I grew a following because I was making comics that were about like current stuff and, mm -hmm. you know, funny or shareable. Like specifically I was making things to get shared and yeah. for people to engage with. And so it grew from there. Um, so I, I recommend that way. I think it's much easier. Yeah. I did. Um, and then once you have a following, you can then start to use the power of your art to grow it further because then people already know you. Right. And they're more willing to like look at what you're putting out there. Yeah. I feel like, you know, a, a nice thing about um, social, especially things like Twitter and Instagram, is that unless someone does something like like aggressive or particularly obnoxious, a lot of people kind of just follow people and, and then leave it. And then they'll just it'll just become like part of your feed. Part of your feed. And so you're just used to seeing it. So people don't like think to unfollow. They're not like curating their Twitter follows every day. So once you get them in, you get them. You got them. As long as you're not like suddenly doing stuff that people actively don't want to see, yeah. it's pretty easy to, to keep sort of slowly growing. I've unfollowed people who have just been like very aggressive about certain things like sometimes i'll follow people for art and then they're starting like twitter fights and i'm like yeah and it's like i don't like i get it but also i don't this really is not care. like what i want to engage with <laughs> it's like when half my timeline is this person like yeah fighting with people i'm like i don't like i understand what, what the issue is but i came here to see art I'm slowly making a residential area out of all of the areas that are average desirability. Fair. Oh, hi. Right on top of the well is a very desirable location. Yeah. Anyway, those are... They do not clear trees to build, says, hi, my name is Rune. They've been doing it before. Mm. Um, Must be cleared land. Okay. Maybe for houses it's different. I will clear the land. That's probably good for now. I feel like there's a lot of space they could get into there. Somebody yeah. already just started. Somebody got right to it. It's like popping one down. Let's go. Let's get on it. People need houses. People need houses. I'm trying to think. When I started... So I wanted to be a freelance illustrator. I wanted to do book covers and uh, poster work and stuff. Um, so when I was in college, I was posting, like, if I would design the book cover myself of, like, books that were really popular or movies that were really popular. Because at the time, it was, like, to kill a mock... I mean, not to kill a mockingbird. Holy shit. The Hungry Games. The Hungry Games. The Hungry Games. What the fuck? Zero decided to join my village. Nobody liked what they saw here? Come on, we there's, got everything. There's no homes and everyone just stands in the rain <laughs> in the town square. Fair enough. Um, sorry, please continue. No, I mean, that was, that was basically it. As I was just like posting things like that. And I don't know if I was particularly super successful. I think that most people followed me because I knew my work on like Dorkly after a while. Um, but I think I got, I think I got a small following from doing that. And I also didn't do it as much as I should have, but, and then I started on Droppy and then my Twitter exploded. There you I was go. on the front page of Reddit today for a comic I made on Dorkly, uh, what feels like a lifetime ago. Lord Manor. Lord Manor. The Lord Manor goes atop the mountain. I demand. Oh, I need oh planks. God, a turret. All right, I need a sawmill first. All right. Never mind. Never mind the Lord Manor for now. First, we will make a sawmill. Produce planks in exchange for wood.
What is the... I'm trying to figure out what the radius for this means. That's true. It's like, I assume they're storing the wood in the town center. Or maybe they just like bring... I'm unclear. I'm just going to make it and see what happens. All right. It's a learning... It's, our, it's, our practice it's a lane. learning process. This is dipshit land. Where everything sucks and nothing makes sense. Nice. Uh, Let the body fall says my experience with art Twitter is that if you want to grow, you have to put yourself out there. Join art shares. Do draw this in your style challenges. Be a nice person that people would want to follow you. Talk to other artists. Don't expect for people who know who. You, don't expect people to know who you are if you don't put yourself out there. That is all uh, correct information as well. I feel like the advice for people online is the same advice I would give people going to a crowded room. It's like, what well, what are the things that you would do to get noticed in a crowded room? Like what. What are the kind of people that you would want to engage with in a, in a crowded room? It's the people who are like involved. It's the people who are really pleasant to engage with. It's like the people whose art is like interesting and offering maybe something new. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's that kind of thing. Like if you go to, you know, if you go to MoCo or you go to New York City Comic Con Artist Alley or you go to some convention where there's artists, like who are the people that you remember? Be that kind of person online. Yeah, totally. You know, like you, you go to, um, again, I'm thinking of MoCA, which is a, a New York independent comic uh, convention. And, um, you know, the, the people who are very successful are like the ones with a really nice presentation of all their things. They're really engaging. They're really nice. They're very professional. And, you know, and their work is something very, like, special, but it's something that I can relate to in some way. Yeah, totally. That's all very good advice. Um, being the type of person that people would want to work with is a huge mm -hmm. is a huge thing. I feel like people... And not even in a way that like I feel like a lot of times people say that and then people hear it and think, Oh, I have to like change who I am. Yeah, no. But that's that's not it. It's like be who you are, but just try to be that in a way that is pleasant to yeah. I'm trying to think of like the right phrasing here. It's like, don't don't give up your your morals or anything. If you're like a shy person, you can be a shy person. Mm -hmm. But then like when you are talking or you do have to talk, you just want to present yourself in a way that is as inviting as possible. Yeah, it's like when we um, when I used to interview people uh, at work, the people that I was always the most interested in were like the people, yes, who were qualified, but. Oh. Yeah. We, we would hire the people who we, you know, since we were working on a small team, it was like the people that we see this person every day. We have to get along with them. They don't have to be my best friend, but I need to know that they are going to do their work and be pleasant to engage with. Again, they don't need to be my best friend. They don't even need to be my friend. I just need them to be professional but kind yeah that's exactly it you mostly just don't want to get vibes that they're going to be a giant creepazoid yeah and also like people who are engaging like you know we hired someone on the dorkly team because she had just like a, i mean first of all she was very qualified she was awesome um but she also had a lot of interest and was really passionate about talking about them when we would ask about it you know like it just showed that she had a life outside of this one narrow thing and that you know if i were to have a conversation with her it would be engaging and well-rounded and just like like i need to work with you so i have to engage with you if i don't want to engage with you then that's not like a good interaction yeah i guess exactly i think people really under value in art advice oh. or like job advice wow you put your house all the way up there yeah it's my lord's manor you you're gonna have me? to do a lot of walking up the hill i don't i'm god this <laughs> is enough. my my god house um but yeah it's i, th I really think that if people don't talk about it enough is just like being able to have a conversation with someone
is very important. And that's still true for online. You should basically treat your presence on the internet like you in real life. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, see. Nice. <gasps> Are you seeing the tallest this? tower? Are you seeing this right now? Oh my god. That's so many stairs. How high can you go? I want to go. I want to go higher. <laughs> oh my god, you're you're. Is that like? Is that bringing up the? Yeah, it's bringing up the amount of planks you need. Yeah, I know. <laughs> How high can, can you, you go? take me higher? <laughs> My God, it's how you, you can know you're space. how you know you're approaching our town. <laughs> no one has ever been able to find Rapunzel in the forest. Holy shit! How? <laughs> how why not? You can see her from anywhere. I'm just gonna make a little one. Um, that rule for, you know, be the person online that you should be in person goes. I think across the board. I was thinking about, like, don't. I think a tip that people confuse is like, don't razz people you aren't friends with, and by friends I mean like people you've met. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. if you razz too hard, it just comes off as rude. That's rude. I don't know you. There's also a lot of people talking to me. If you're all razzing me, then I feel like I'm getting bullied. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard. Like you have to be. Wow. So far down the line of like a back and forth, of a personal one on one back and forth in order to be like, now I'm at the stage where I can razz you. Yeah, it's it's tough to feel out, especially if you don't have sort of a natural yeah. instinct for those things. I think when in doubt, play it safe. When in doubt, just don't. When in doubt, just don't. Just no be, one's going to be mad be that yeah. you're kind. Yeah, no one's going to be mad at you for being nice. But yeah, it's it's definitely a weird world. I remember like starting out making art, I was like really frustrated that just like making the art wasn't the only thing I had to do. You know? Yeah. I was like, I just want to make the art. Like that's all I want to do. I shouldn't have to do anything else. Right. And then as the years have gone by, I've learned to appreciate the other skill sets that have come from those other Yeah. those other things I had to do, like learning how to manage social situations in a job sense and how to yeah. manage myself and yeah how to manage because like doing what we do with Droppy now independently I don't think we would have been prepared no to do it um at any other time in our lives I think also we should say that it's not like you don't have to be like the most charismatic person ever no. it's like you know I Put people who are just good at whatever job that they're applying to far higher than people who are bad at their jobs, but extremely personable. Yeah. You know, it, it's not like I'm taking someone who I'm like, I'm going to hire you because you could be my friend. It's like, I kind of need a balance. Well, I don't need a balance of both, but it's nice to have a balance of both, especially if you're on a small team. Like, I would much rather hire someone who's good at their job than someone who's bad at their job because then I'm going to have to cover for them all the goddamn time. You know? Yeah. It's it's all a balance. It's I think if you can prove to people that you are pleasant enough to work with in in the way where you are going to get your job done and you won't... Oh! Two, two, two more villagers. Um, that you won't... Um, you know fight people on every small thing. I think if it's like, if you can prove to people that you were willing to work with them, that is like, number one. You know? Yeah. It's a it's a huge thing. Yeah. I'm not saying you gotta schmooze your way in. Again, I don't want to be friends with everyone I ever hire. As, at some point, that might be too many people. Who knows? Who knows? And there is definitely something to be said for... Like, I got my job because I knew Caldwell mm -hmm. from online. 
So it was only because I was able to make an online friend yeah. that I got a job, truly. But I um, also knew no one. Yeah, it's not necessary, but that's a it's another like sort of aspect of how important it is to yeah to be chill online that's true just be chill if you don't basically just don't just don't ag just don't aggravate the person oh you nice want to be hired by we got peasant houses <gasps> that's awesome little little thatch roofs 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 I feel like I'm going to need to make another deforestation camp. <laughs> As they're <Yeah>. called. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know anyone. And basically, I was interviewed because my uh, portfolio was just good enough. You know? And then I had uh, an interview where I think they were just like, are you going to be chill or are we going to have words all the time? And I was like, we're going to be chill. And they're like, okay. You win. I'm like, cool. And then I had a lot to learn because I was, you know, on and off fighty. So. Everybody has a lot to learn all the time. Don't forget ads. I won't. Inevitable Ruffian said, that's an interesting hypothetical. Do you want to head a company large enough that everyone being your friend would be untenable? It would be untenable, I think. Because also, you can't be someone's boss if you're 100% their friend because if they start slacking, then it's like, how do you how do you tell your friend to you know shape up i mean ideally in a, in the sense that we have it right now for droppy i'm in the middle of talking ambulance <laughs> the dog is howling at the ambulance <laughs> nice bye ambulance um, I think I'm, I'm very grateful to work like we do with Droppy now because none of us are anyone's boss and we are all friends. Yeah. But in the sense that n none of us very much want to let the others down. Yeah. So like if any of us do like miss something or mess up, it's usually pretty instantly like. I'll do this different thing next time. Just out of guilt. Yeah, so this doesn't God, happen again. I feel bad. Like, like, sorry, I'll fix this. I'll fix this for next time. Because, like, n none of us want to be the one who drops the ball when it's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. And I think it also helps that we have a, a completely equitable pay situation. Yeah. Where how much we make, we all make the exact same amount. Yeah. It's all split completely evenly. So if Droppy does better, we all make more. And if it does worse, we all make less. Yeah. So everybody has a stake in doing their best and doing their best financially as well. Yeah. Um, and I think that makes it it's better for people to feel like they actually have a part of yeah the thing that we're doing. But also, I think that only works because everyone does have this like immense guilt of or or you know the the weakness where no one wants to upset anyone else or like let anyone else down because we're all friends you know yeah totally and like if Droppy were to get like way bigger as a business mm -hmm. that would probably have to change eventually yeah um, but i i really enjoy how it is at present yeah it's kind of like it's awesome. my my ideal situation it's definitely awesome and it's ideal and i love it for our team i just definitely know people who would have take or would who would take advantage of this situation yeah it, it works very specifically because we are uh we all kind of trust each other in that way oh i got new new villages you dare tread upon the lord's land who are you <laughs> these twins the twins have arrived the twins are shuffling in one new villagers that look like two are you sure i think there are people without jobs yeah there's four people without jobs um okay let's see we have i probably should have another builder and another wood cutter and another forager and another miner how do we feel about that hell yeah that seems good should we Run ads? Yeah. 
Yeah. Let's run ads. We'll pause and run ads. My head feels like soup that's getting compressed into an ever smaller ball of soup. <laughs> ball of soup? <laughs> We're going to run ads for three minutes. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll be back. They are starting now. The ads are now, the ad? are now running. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Olive. Hi, sweetie. Oh, she's coming over to you. Oh, it's Olive. Oh, she wants to go on the desk. Olive. <laughs> she's sniffing. Olive. Come here. What you doing? What's the game plan, Olive? Olive has become very social recently. What's the move? You're sniffing the air. Olive. The little tail's going. She really likes that I've cleaned my desk and I've added monitor arms for everything. Oh, so well, this is new. There's all of this like space now for Olive to go behind all of my monitors and underneath them. All of your monitors. All of my monitors. How much do your cats weigh? Um, around eight-ish pounds. Yeah. Olive is a smaller cat. She was the runt of the litter, so she's she's tinier. She might be like seven. Joy is a little heavier. She might be like nine. The best pop tart. I just got the arm on the tablet literally before this stream, so I've not tried it out for actual drawing yet. I love it for this setup right now. And I'm excited to try it out for drawing as well. I've heard nothing but good things from people online, so I have high hopes. Uh, someone asked who plays guitar. That's, that is me. That's my guitar. I am not musically inclined. I don't play nearly as frequently as I, as I used to. I have it sitting out, so hopefully I'll play it more. But I just haven't had the extra creative juice lately to... To work on that. Still, yeah, I haven't started sewing yet. I don't got any hobby energy <laughs> at me the neither. moment. It's very rare for me to not have hobby energy, but here we are. I'll I'll play some music for you guys at a at a different time. I'll prepare a set list. Julia can sing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I said that feeling like Julia was going to deny it vehemently but mm -hmm. the fact that she didn't maybe just, maybe it'll happen I can't, I can't, yeah. julia is a good singer actually oh thank you i'm good at i i always feel like i cheat it by like parroting as i think of it like i just i can mimic what i hear to an extent but that's it that's kind of what singing is. Yeah, but there's like people that can do fun stuff with it, and then they like hear a thing, and then they can do like cool tricks. And I'm like, I I can't. I only hear what I. I only sing what I hear. Well, you know, you haven't like studied singing. Yeah. Like people that can do that are like singers by hobby, at least. Right. So they have like some sort of investment in improving the singing in those ways. But it's not a thing that just like happens. It's like anything. You'd have to have been working on it. Well, it's like people who can go like up an octave when they're like singing along with a song and then they'll just like do a harmony. And I'm like, I don't know how you did That's that. That's not a uh, just like natural thing people can do. Oh, okay. Being able to like pick out a harmony requires study and practice. I got made fun of for some by someone because I couldn't do it. So I, I assumed that it was something that people who we're good at music could do you'd have to at least have knowledge of what notes form the harmony and then know which notes you could sing mm. to make that happen so it's one of those things music doesn't make sense to my brain i will say that <laughs> a strong chin oh he's pulsing <laughs> I gotta switch back to gameplay cam. Oh, you pulled a me. I wanna get in on this guy. 
Oh. Oh God. You got too close to that guy. Blink. Blink, motherfucker. Blink. You must blink. That's a 2020 move. All around me. <laughs> I'm feeling that. <laughs> Okay, I think I want to make a new logging camp. A new lumber camp over here. Do it. Um, to get rid of these, these, these are trees. Give it a little bit of this action. We're going to plop that there. And then I think I'm going to actually deconstruct this one. Okay. And Fire replace them and it. rehire them. He just got to it and was like, um. <laughs> what happened to my job? <laughs> what? I'm going to make a forester camp here. So we can reforest this area. You see what Ooh, I'm, you see I like what I'm this. getting at? You see where I'm at right now? Hell yeah. See where my head's at? Sunshine Ray said, I'm going to my fourth year of music education. And I still have a hard time picking out harmonies just by ear. Oh, good to know. Yeah, it's not like a easy thing. Right. I've That's done that now. like training before where you it, it plays an interval and you have to say what the interval is for like ear training. Mm. And for like the, the the smaller intervals, like I can do it pretty readily, but when it gets up into like the mm -hmm. of the, the bigger leaps, like I just can't. It's so hard to pick out the differences for me. Other than octave. The people who can hear a note and know exactly what it is. Uh, it blows my mind. Well, that's people with perfect pitch. Yeah. And that is a genetic thing. Yeah, that's wild. If you don't have perfect pitch, like, you can't really learn it, as far as I know. Yeah. I just... I realized the other day, when I was playing Beat Saber, that I really have a hard time thinking of the beat like the notes going to certain parts of the song and then when it switches away from that part of the song i can't hear what that beat is it takes my brain a couple of seconds to like hear because i have to go individually by like instrument basically i can only hear one beat at a time yeah so when i when I get one and then it switches, like let's say it's following the bass and then it's following the drums or the or, or singing, my brain is like, what? Where are these coming from? What is this? What are yeah. we following? Oh, okay, I got it. I think though it's again worth saying you've not trained in music in any capacity. I mean, I did choir for a couple of years, but that's it. But that doesn't super count. Yeah. Uh, the same, like, if you were really serious in choir, then it would. Yeah. But music is like, I feel like for some reason when you talk about music, you talk about it like it's not another art like drawing is. Yeah. And like, it can be learned in the exact same way drawing can, and it absolutely can. I just understand. It's like, if you had worked at it, you yeah. would understand it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not something that's, like, beyond your capacity to understand. I just understand basically nothing about art i mean <laughs> oh no <laughs> music i yeah. understand nothing about music i like i know because i know that there's things that i don't know because i haven't studied like i've played you know bass guitar and flute before and i was alto and choir but i know there's things that i missed because i didn't study it but there's also things that i have tried to learn and cannot understand it is like a weird alchemy to me well, it is completely unfathomable it's like learning another language so you have to learn it very slowly and from the very very basics and then slowly build it's not something you can just like hear yeah. and understand what people are talking about i'm also really bad at language there we are i think you don't give yourself enough credit for your learning capacity. Well, thank you. I bet if you wanted to learn music, you absolutely could. But you would just have to like, try to learn music. Yeah, I really tried. Like when I learned flute, I really tried. But I also learned flute like three years after I got my hearing and I did not, I, co I couldn't, it was baffling. She was like, 
you know, a month into it, she was like, okay, you can all read sheet music now, right? And I was like, no. And everyone was like, yeah. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Mick Mickification said, Julia, you freaking taught yourself Blender. <laughs> <laughs> I can learn programs really quickly, but music is very, it is it is my weak spot. Music and language are my weak spots. I just cannot wrangle it at all. <laughs> Hikumirin says, I can sing anime songs like a crappy parrot. <laughs> yeah, same. JP Art said, supportive Jacob is as high quality as rude Jacob. Yeah. Supportive Jacob also has rude energy because I want the people I care about to believe in themselves. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, no, come on. Sometimes you're Jacob, good. <laughs> sometimes you're good and you're incredible at doing things. Sometimes I'll tell Jacob that I was trying to do something and I gave up because I couldn't do it. And he was just like, you are an idiot. <laughs> of course you can do this thing. Are you <laughs> stupid? And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, you can do anything. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Well, I think people are being stupid when they say that they can't do something. Yeah, sometimes Jacob gets frustrated because he, like, knows that I can do something. And then he gets completely just, like, blindsided if I'm like, no, I can't. He's like, what What are you What are you talking about? It's because it blows my mind after all the things you have done and, like, all the things you have learned that <laughs> yeah. you pick, like, one at random and you're like, this one? Uh-uh. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why this one? It was all fine. It's very funny because you are, you act completely bewildered every single time. I am bewildered. It makes me laugh every time. I want them to make more houses. Only six people have houses. Why don't they just live together? I think I need to make more housing zone. Oh, I don't think yeah. they have enough room, but nobody wants to live out here. It's low desirability. But they might have to just do it anyways. Oh, wow. Somebody already plopped down a spot. Oh, I didn't realize that's how that worked. That's interesting. Yeah, you set a zone, and then they just, like, build within that zone wherever they want. Get in the zone. Housing zone. Which I think is kind of cool. That is cool. I don't, I don't like, want to deal with building. Yeah, I don't micromanage even that. Specific houses. I want to get a poster that says you can do anything, dumbass. <laughs> Oh, oh, apparently we need joining. a reforesting zone. Oh, damn it. I'm wasting my damn time. I have a damn, damn all reforesting zone. Nope, oh, it popped out. He's like, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, so much land! I got work to do! I've been waiting my whole life for this! Okay, okay, okay. James. What do we need? I need to arrange people by job so I can see. We can only have one carpenter. We got three foragers, three miners, three woodcutters. We kind of have everything we need. What do you want to do? What are you feeling? Do you want to transport? We could be another transporter. William is getting incredibly good at transporting. Why is Yvette not getting better at market tending? Because no one's buying anything. What's what's going on at the old market here? Yvette. Berries, one. She has one berry to sell. She got six, 16 berries sold this week for 144 gold. What the fuck? Figure it out. Yvette, you're doing your... She's not even there. Yvette. Oh, there, there she, she is. is. She's getting supplies. Why is she not um, leveling up her her biz, you know? Yvette, level up your biz. The year after I got... We were talking about... Chat's talking about music teachers right now. The year after I got my hearing, I had a music teacher at my school who yelled at me because I was singing flat. I was like, I don't know what that means, dog. I don't know, even, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to spell. I bet if we put like a church in here, it will become more desirable. 
Ah, people love people love a church. church. Bunch of church heads. Core church. Oh, that's big. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Let's put it like here. Let's put it. <laughs> it's so big. This is the biggest church I've ever seen. Maybe we put it like back here a little bit. Yeah. I was eight when I got my hearing. <laughs> it was just funny because it didn't sound like you were responding to anything. Like you just made up a little song. <laughs> yeah. I was eight when I got my hearing. Now I hear things every day. People want to know if this is a diner church. Yeah, this is definitely a diner church. We want the door for sure. I think I've <laughs> how else will God fit in it if it's not huge? Um, I think I've mentioned this before. Yes, gamers. Yes, but I had a very gamers. cool moment in my life, and it was definitely something that only I found to be very cool. Well, my grandma lives near this town that's been abandoned since World War II, and in it is a church from like the Hundos. From like, oh the Hondos, the the early thousands. It was in the from the medieval times, the medieval times, the medieval era, and it um was built by one dude, and it lives in that church. And now people go there on like some sort of like pilgrimage, but generally no one ever. It's like it gets like two visitors a year because it's in this abandoned town. And it's completely overgrown, and it's the coolest thing because it's just like a little box that sit into the land. And it was definitely made by like just one dude because it's not anything super fancy schmancy. That's so many crosses. You see in this church? Has one core, yes. Has one <sighs> door, yes. Has one. What if I build it on top of their house? <laughs> Get the fuck out. God lives here now. This is God's house. This is a mega church. I'm just like well, trying according to... according to, to uh, villages oh in the God. south... Look at it move. It's... Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah, God. Yeah, 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 um, You have a total of two houses, which means that you need two mega churches at least. You talking smack? About the South? Kind the of. South, a perfect place with no problems? <laughs> I just, it feels, I mean, I've spoken to you, to you about this before. And don't ever speak to me again. <laughs> uh, There's just so many churches. Start construction. This is going to be the big project of the stream. The Real Lordy says, I can't believe I just found this channel. I'm a huge fan of Draw for You. Love you guys. Oh, thank you, the Real Lord. Thank Lordly. You. Lord, Lordy, Lordy, the real Lordly is here. Apostrophe Stin. Uh, it's not quite south. It's like, so my grandma lives in a town uh, that is just south, like an hour south, no, like 45 minutes south-ish of Limoges, and it's near there. How do I promote villagers? To Grand Villager? Do you like click on their name? Lord Manor. Welcome to Dipshit Manor, where <laughs> Lord Dipshit lives. <laughs> Great. Running this horrible town. Military manager, budget. What's my budget? Okay. Okay. My income and my ex there it's balancing out. Budget's balanced. Trade. Neighboring cities. Northbury. Oh, I can unlock a trade route. Yeah. I unlocked a trade route. Mixed crappy said I spent an entire summer in Limoges. Nice. My grandma lives there now. She moved recently. I haven't spent any time in Limoges. 
We will once quarantine. We stops. will, we will spend some time in Limoges. We will, we will travel. Travel. Buddy, you're a buddy, good but a buddy, enemy or a buddy, buddy friend. You got friend on your face, your friendly face, kissing that face all over the place. Apostrophe Stin, that's awesome. Did you go, so there's this little abandoned town and it's like in this kind of hilly mountainous region and there's this well nearby that's very hard to get to and there's like a bucket. It's like a, a well that's in like this kind of like rocky a uh, cliffy face and the water inside is like this wildly blue water and uh, people from the medieval times thought that it could cure all ailments and people still drink from it I did it was awesome did it cure all your ailments uh, clearly not because I haven't slept in a while because you still got ailments because I still got ailments my bones are bad damn Who did I just assign to, to do there, to go to there? I guess I had more people. <laughs> I had layabouts. I had gadabouts in my in my village that Please, I was unaware sir, of. Give me a job. I need to know how to promote villagers. I want to. I want to promote you, Richard. <laughs> Let me view your home. Richard, my dude. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I want to promote you. I'm gonna You've been with it. us for so long. You've been building every building. Just Lil G, thank you for subscribing. Have you been saying all these subs? Sarah Adams, the Ficus, TI 80 calculator. No, for some reason I missed all of these. S. Gonzalez, whether or no. I haven't said any of these. A Dane's War Chief. Tiny Dragon Dog, Wagon Full of Pancakes, Spoopy Mulder. Oh my god. Sid Bio. We never said we were streaming in, in the thing. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, there's still 900 people there. That's true. I mean, here. Okay, I'm gonna look at promoting, promoting villages. Richard, tell me how to promote you. How do I make you happy? What can I do for you? Promote Villagers Foundation. I want to donate to the Promote Villagers Foundation. I didn't even realize I've been at 2x speed this whole time. Guess it doesn't matter. Damn, we got like no stone. What are you guys doing? Oh, I guess it's probably building the church, huh? That is made of <laughs> entirely of stones. It's not the end of the month, but it looked like the month, the month had passed. You promote villagers when the king's crier comes to town. The king's crier? To wait till the end of the month. Oh my god. The game will put up a list of possible promotions when they're possible. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll wait until the possible promotions are possible. That's if you good... already have some serfs, then I'm guessing serf promotions are possible. <laughs> cool. Coolio. I should go to maybe even 3x speed. What are we waiting for? You know, let's get this church built so we can get this warehouse built so we can assign trading to the warehouse. I watched a lot of videos about chiropractory and one chiropractor wiggled someone's arm and it cracked like a bunch of spots in the arm and I just keep wanting to do that to myself but I'm not a chiropractor so I'd probably just hurt myself. I keep wanting to do it. The king's cryopractor? Yeah. Cryopractor? Yeah. Corgi Wrangler 2020. Thank you for the sub. Oh, man. Water's so good. Yeah. You ever just drink water? Yeah, man. A monk is approaching your village. What? Who dat? Why? What do you want? What do you want? We're not selling anything. Whoa, there he goes. Who, who are you? Goodbye. Are you the monk? Wait, are you the monk? Who are you? You're a trader. Kill him, he's a trader. He wants to buy berries, planks. He wants to sell honey, glass, tools. I got to get a warehouse built. 
Honey glass sounds like some zumbo shit. Honey glass. Build a warehouse. Jeff Whitaker says, Out outside religion in the Lord's land. Should probably be near to the granary, right? Yeah. Because that's where we store and the town the town center. Maybe we'll put it put it here. We're gonna put it over here. Start construction after you build my beautiful mega church. That's our medieval priorities really were like make the most beautiful church. I made some different trees over here accidentally. Oh, that's okay. My boy George grew some trees fast. George might I just is say. good at his job. Now I got all this oak. I don't even know what the difference in the tree types does for me. A monk is requesting an audience. Oh, hey, dude. Oh. My lord, the king demands some materials. Well, fuck him. The clergy wants to renovate some of its churches, but our own workers are in need as well. We need to choose who we want to help. What? What about my workers? I'm I, keeping I, it all. I just came into existence. But if I'm going to assist, I'm going to assist the people. Of course. We'll deliver 50 wood in 60 days. What are the different words? Okay, it seems assist like the Assist the same. king, assist the clergy, assist the people. Yeah, I was just seeing what rewards you get, but it seems like you just get 10 tool. I will assist the people. I'm going to follow him all the way out. Get out. Oh, he's taking the trade route. Mm. The path well trod. This is now a first person monk simulator. You got one new person. <laughs> wow, this is a dedicated monk. There he goes. He's gone. Just like that. Amazing. I got one new person, you say. Where is my workplace list? We will assign a new miner. Oh, I had I had two people, I guess. That's all the people I had. I got five miners now. Nice. Still working on these six rocks right here. They're good rocks. They're good rocks. Not even not even concerned about it. The church is is nearing completion. Missing resources, tools. Am I out out of tools? Call the van. I'm out of tools. How do you get more tools? Well, if we get enough lumber, we'll get 10 tools from that the wasn't, people. That wasn't tools. It was... One new villager has arrived in your village. That wasn't tools, Julia. I thought it was tools. It was it was labor points. It was labor uh, points. Shit. Through trade? How do we trade? Do we need a trading post? Well, the warehouse is complete, so now I can trade. Okay. Okay. Walter, you're the guy. Oh, I need another transporter here. Let's assign one of the other transporters. Joms. James, you work here now. Okay. Stock maximum, empty stock. Slot one. So I, I pick four things that I'm willing to trade, is how this works. I don't want to trade wood right now because we need 50 wood in 60 days. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Don't, don't be insane. Stone we can trade. Um, we can trade planks. We can trade planks. I don't, I don't have any of these other objects <laughs> available. <laughs> these are the two things I trade. If you want stone or planks, 
This is where you come. Spud Price says, where do I get Drawfee merch? Store.dftba.com forward slash collections forward slash Drawfee. Just Google Drawfee DFTBA. And it'll come up. Or you can go to any Drawfee video. Or you can click that Draz, that link that Draz just posted. Yeah, we got pins. There's a pin over there. Oh, yeah, here. Let's check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Get, ready, get a load of this. Get a load of this. It's shiny and hefty and, and beautiful, and we love it. You don't get this just anywhere. It's got, it's got these. Hell yeah. For sticking onto your belongings. And we got shirts. And we got shirts, and we're going to have more stuff soon. We're going to be adding a new thing to the shop. Karina and I are working on it. So... We're working Get on ready, it. and I think what we're gonna do be doing with this store is we'll have a rotating cast of stuff, new things. So yeah, what we want to do is have like new stuff, like specific to that month, sort of. Yeah, because if we do a limited supply, then we cut down on waste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we'll find like whatever the the hot meme is, the hot droppy meme. Yeah, and make some merch out of that. We'll make some limited limited time merch. Yeah. Things. And also, if you're part of those Patreon tiers, a discount is going to be starting monthly in September. September 1st. Everyone's going to be getting, or not everyone, but the people in those tiers are going to get a discount code. That's, that's all true. I've been working on that as well. Will we ever see the return of old merch? Maybe. Will we bring back some bestsellers? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We can do that. I have to figure out what they are, and I have to find those files. I think I found them. I think I have them. Trading resources. No, no trade. No trade. Draw Detectives DVDs. With some bloopers. There aren't many bloopers. Oh, wait. The warehouse is just for stocking resources. My god. So I do want to do wood in there. And I do want to do... Probably tools once I have some tools. Yeah. Whether or no, gifted sub, thank you. It is not a made to order store. Okay, game cam. Here we go. Game cam. Game, game, gamers. Gamers. Draw Detectives art book. Maybe do that. Might do that. Maybe do that. We want 20 tools. We want to. We want to buy until the inventory reaches the value. Okay, interesting. So for wood, we can set it up. So, so that we only that, sell a certain amount? Yeah. Or trade a certain amount? Like we can set it to like 60, right? And then say sell all above that value. Mm. So anything above that we sell. Okay, I like that. You know what I'm saying? We're running low on berries. Do we know yet? My brother asks, do we know yet when Dragas are going to be on YouTube? Um, so, I'm getting the files from their, their old home. They're being sent to me. The problem is, the files are so big that it's untransferable yeah we've had a very difficult time i got an email today about it and it's just like it is untenable to move literally one of them so they're working on it on getting it to us when we have it we will post them oh yeah mlep is not my brother i always just joke that it's my brother because every time i see it i think it is my brother but it's not them it's actually mlep Mlep noodle. Thank you, Mlep noodle. Mlep. Mlep. See if we can't get some cloth in here. I'm just setting up my trading, which is pretty exciting, I think. How do you get a drawfee mug? I can talk to DFTBA about some mugs. I'll put that on my list of things to do tomorrow. Our thing is, is that we used to have drawfee mugs. 
and then they went away. And then we wanted to do new stuff in the new store. Um, and we haven't been up for too long. And I've been distracted by other things. And then Jacob and I have two giant boxes of draw a few mugs that we wanted to sell eventually. So I think we were holding off on the mugs. Yeah, we have a lot of leftover mugs that we were supposed to sell at Mocha. Yeah. And Mocha didn't happen. Yeah. Maybe next year. <laughs> I still have my money. The church has noticed your dedication to God and thus holds you in higher regard. We are God. God is why we are all here. Give me 10 church points. I love church points. Anyway, I was thinking about the mug. Would you want it to be like this? Like the circle, the whole logo, or just the face so People that it just looks want like. The face. I know that already. All right. It's been like the number one question about these mugs is why is it not just the face on the mug? All right. I'll do it. And that was a question I had as well about our mugs. Also, should the mug be, I mean, the face be here so that it's like the logo? Or should it be here because. Well, that's a left handed drink drinker right like if what's a right -handed basically drinker. what i'm saying okay so it should be here it's either way i guess but it probably should match because if you're looking at it straight on it, it would be the other way so it would have to be like a left-hander's mug i think it should look like it does on the mug okay the so it would have so to it be... Should be a left-hander's mug. people are saying face on both sides that's insane that's insane but okay i guess we don't know what's on the back of the Drawfee could mug. be another could face. Be, could be a second face. Our berry situation, I'm not enjoying. But there's no more there's no more berries. Can I? I could put a face on both sides. I can talk to DFTBA about it. Make another gathering hut. For both the lefties and the righties. Silent Ninja. Thank you for your nice words. Silent Ninja says, just want to say thanks for inspiring me to try and teach myself digital art. It's been the best and worst thing for my mental health ever. Oh, yeah. I Welcome feel that. to art. <laughs> it's awful and terrible. It, that never gets better. I had, I tweeted about it yesterday, but I had a day where just everything I drew was like when you flip your canvas halfway through drawing and you see just everything wrong and just nothing's lining up. That was like my day yesterday and today. Yeah, it that just happens. happens sometimes. It happens. Your brain is a muscle. You've got to let it rest. All right. What is that gathering hut? It's a new gathering hut, so we can gather more berries faster. Did you see that that uh, pretender to the throne? That's Drakub. 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 Where is Drakub. he? Drakub. He was there. Drakub, twenty-four years old, male. I am working. I am gathering berries. Wow. Hopefully this will get our berries up, because our berries are in sort of dire straits. We got 20 tools. We did a trade successfully. Yay! This is amazing. It's all happening. Draz? Nice. I'm learning the game. This game is very nice. And I kind really, of relaxing. I really like it. It's not super stressful. Because it's not like, with a lot of these games, it's like, you went one day, your people are starving. Yeah. This has been a lot more chill. In order to feed your people, you need to gather berries, but also they need food variety, so you need to build a distillery. For some reason, people love beer. Also, you'll note that I paused my sawmill so that I could stockpile wood. Oh. So that I'd have enough wood to give to the monk when he comes back. You know what I'm saying? You get me? You feel me? Yeah. You understand good job. me? Whether or no says today has been a today was a long long day of work and then class and the stream has been such a nice way to end uh 
This stream has been such a nice way to end the day. Uh, thank you, Chad, for being lovely, and thank you, Jacob and Julia, for being entertaining and not stressful to watch. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for being here and for being nice and awesome. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so much. What what's the heck? that? Oh, I was scratching at the little couch. <laughs> Her scratchy couch. It's a good couch to scratch. It's a good couch to scratch. She's very good. Do not be concerned, Olive, fair, fair maidens. Do I have stone set to trade? There's a monk waiting at the manor. The people want you to know. He's not here yet. Oh, people are saying there's a monk waiting at the manor. Did he leave? Hello? Maybe he left. Whatever. What was that? That was a stone guy. I mean, a wood guy. Whoa! We got a new villager. I think he left. All right, that's fine. Um, something was telling me that like something couldn't extract. What? What was it saying? Forager could not find accessible resource in zone extraction. Damn. Oh, there's no berries on the bush Jeez. anymore. But we can't access these bushes because they're just outside the zone. Only these two. Uh, Can we plant more bushes? Does the reforester have that capability? I don't know. Uh, can y'all raid Zakoyama after this? He's doing a charity stream for the Milwaukee Freedom Fund. Yeah. Yeah, we'll raid Zakoyama. Love Zak. Damn, dude. How do I get more berry bushes? Is there a building? Hey, New Yorkers, is that storm supposed to hit New Yorkers? I mean, hey, New Yorkers, is that storm supposed to hit New Yorkers? Is that storm still it, supposed to hit New York? Tomorrow? Does it avoid New Yorkers? Is it supposed to hit New York? Tomorrow? This one dodges New Yorkers. There's supposed to be a real big one tomorrow. We're supposed to have a severe weather warning. I don't know if it's still happening for tomorrow, but I think it is. Oh, you know what? Fish. Fish. Yes, storm tomorrow. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine Oakenshield. Is Julia okay? I'm just, I'm just pudding. Who is that? You're pudding? Is I'm that pudding. what you said? Yeah. I'm just pudding. Jacob and I started watching Worst Dirty Bakers fish. in America, and this one guy keeps calling everything he bakes uh, delicates. Yeah, gonna make some delicates. He talks like to his not... delicates. Yeah. Promotion available. <gasps> oh my god, you got pay out the butt. How much money do I have? You have 319. All right, well, I need a lot of serfs for things. How much is this? That's 20. If I noticed that if you hover over, it like tells you what it allows them to do. If you hover over like builder, so you build oh, structures. That just says what they do normally. Oh. That was a good thought, though. How many do I need to um, ten surf, which I have? Okay. So I can stop doing that for now. I think I'm, I will promote Richard to a commoner because he deserves it. <laughs> you put in the work. You put in the work. And William, you can go too because you're level four. Builders, they build. Enough promotions for today. Dismiss. Hey, everyone in Louisiana, stay safe. Be gone. Be gone with you. Stone, oh my God, stonemason hut, wheat farm, windmill, bakery, coal hut, iron smelter, blacksmith, sheep statue, sheep farm, weaver sheep hut. Sheep statue? Taylor's workshop, dairy farm, cheese maker, decorative tree, road sign, and plant arch are now available. Ashley Taylor, congratulations on the workshop. The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. The the splendor of this village. Do this you is see all it? I, this is the only thing I want to do tomorrow, but I have work to do. This game, my village is resplendent. What happened to that building? What? Oh, they're, I think they're re... It just disappeared. I think they're rebuilding it. Oh, it's upgrading? Yeah, house is upgrading. Okay, good. They're going to make it fancier. Oh my god. Good Polished Lord. stone, wheat farm. What I really want to do is buy more land. Do I have that capacity yet? Territory. 
Oh my god, I could have been buying land this whole time. Adds 10 coins to my royal taxes. Are you joking me? I could have been... Buy that one to the south and you'll get more berry bushes. Oh my god. This is why this is dipshit land. And we're learning. This, this is something else. Well, now I can access all the berry bushes. So that's a treat. And this could be like farmland over here. Jamie, I forgot you changed your username to whether or no. Jamie, I forgot. I'm sorry. Why, why did you forget? Or what, in what way did you forget? I just, I read, uh, I read a t comment from them earlier and completely forgot that it was them. Oh, I would have shouted you out. I'm sorry. Well, you're having a time. You're I having put, a time. I put hand sanitizer on my toothbrush this morning. No, you almost put soap on your toothbrush this morning, not hand sanitizer. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, God. Let us make the farm. I'm really right in the struggle bus today. Make the farm. We're gonna make the farm. Not in the not among the trees. Maybe among the trees, kind of. Yeah. Put it over here. Farm. Wheat farm. I don't know how much it like Maybe mm. there's like an area that it will farm. Yeah. Forbidden land. I guess we'll find out <laughs> where where it will farm. People are suggesting I go to bed. I've been sleeping fine until I wake up at four in the morning wide awake, like ready to start my day. And then I watch the sun come up and then I go back to sleep. It's really weird. It's been happening for like, what, a week and a half? Uh, I wouldn't say that long, but it's been happening for like four or five days straight. Probably feels like a week and a half. Probably time is a blur. I don't know what's happening to me. People I'm like sleeping and I'm going to sleep on time. Sunrise, cool. Waking up at four? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No! I've been working out, I've been eating well, I've been drinking water, I don't understand what's happening. Sometimes it just be like that. I usually sleep so well. Just like once every couple of, every like four months, all of a sudden my sleep schedule just becomes trash. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Can you build this any faster? It's working through its can, Alan. El Elaine. 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 It's Jerome. Henry is assigned to the construction now. Henry will get it done. It's my favorite sitcom with Jerome Springer and Elaine. And. Do you mean Jerome Seinfeld? Yeah. You don't mean Jerome Springer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've made a successful joke this whole stream. I, ha I certainly haven't. You know what's been the best joke so far? Me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You don't have I, to make jokes. I'm the jokes. biggest and best joke of them all. The stream's actually over. Believe it or not. Um, so I want to keep watching this game go. Wheat farm is complete. Holy shit. No crop field oh, yes. defined. yes, paint crop field. Whoa. Oh, look at this desirability. Very high. All right, this is about to be crops. And then over here on the other side of the path, crops. And then over here, a little bit of crops. Farmer's going to have a hell of a time. Henri! You're my new farmer. <gasps> Henri! And I want someone else to be a farmer as my well. My bonus grandpa. My oh, bonus. two more people just joined the village. This is Hell perfect. Yeah. They can become farmers too. As soon as they're here, I will assign them. Get in this village and work. 
They're not here yet. He did not say weed farm. He said wheat. Wheat. Wheat farm. Wheat farm. Wheat farm. Wheat. Hey, wheat farm. Jason said weed farm. I've never. I don't refer to the devil's lettuce. Devil's lettuce? Yeah. It's one of the phrases for weed. It's called lettuce? The devil's lettuce. I thought it was called like devil's grass. The devil's lettuce is one of the terms. Lettuce? Yeah. But lettuce is something I want to partake in. A monk is requesting an audience. What do you want? What's up, Get dude? Get out of my house. My lord, the king demands some materials. You, you want to renovate your churches again? Oh my god, you're such a We're supporting freaking, the people. Freaking, freaking. We always support the people. Deliver 10 tools in 10 days. Christ, I can't make tools on trees. I actually have 20 tools already, so. Oh. But should I assist something else to get more points? Because I have a lot of clergy points. I actually, labor points are what I need the most. I shall assist the people. What? How did I fail to deliver 50 wood? I had 50 wood. Did anybody see how I failed to deliver 50 wood? Mm. Guys, I don't partake in the devil's lettuce. Is it because I didn't click when the monk came? Mm. That would suck. You ignored the monk. Is what people Is are that saying. why? That seems like some dookie shit. Oh yeah, you guys should start carpentering again, please. When you get the when you get the chance. Oh look, he's planting the weed. <laughs> he's kind of just like pissing it out. Yeah, he is. Um, oh, I can probably make. Jamie, yeah. I'm very excited to send you the Kermit. It will be soonish. When is it happening? It's happening soonish. I just opened my calculator. That easy to plant things. Calculator. What day is it? Calculator. 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 Joey. Joey's here. She's gonna jump in your lap. She's gonna jump in my lap. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see her try. Are the woodcutters going all the way over here to get Jacob, wood? Jacob, I think you have to accept send on the upper left-hand side. Have to what? Oh my God! Click to deliver. I'm not happy. Well, listen, it's dipshit land for a reason. I'm not happy with myself, with myself, at the time at the mo. But you know, the mo. This is how we learn, and the game is over anyways. So we're gonna save, save dipshit land. And uh, we're gonna, we're done with the stream. We're gonna raid Zach. Yeah. So everybody get ready to raid Zach. Go help Zach support charity. Uh, Draz, I'm not gonna be streaming on Friday. Oh, I'll that's a good reminder. Draw class Friday. There will be the Patreon draw class stream on Friday if you're at that tier. Julia and Nathan will be doing it. Julia will, will be teaching. Yeah, I'll be leading. Nathan will be asking. I won't be streaming. I'm gonna figure out another time to do my stream, or I might just like hold off on that stream. I haven't decided yet. Yeah. But in any case, go say hi to Zach for us. Have a fun time for the rest of your evening, and we will see you all next time. Bye guys. Bye.